Uh, thank you very much, Spencer. And thank you very much for Qualys for allowing me to come today and talk you through some of the good things that we've been doing at ABF with Qualys. Um, so I'm going to talk you through um, a program of work that we've been going through over the last year um, to increase our visibility um, of our risks in our environment and then reducing the risk within Associated British Foods or ABF. So I apologize for the giant screen looking at you. <coughs> um, so I lead the uh, governance risk and compliance team within um, the shared service center within ABF. Um, and I've been within ABF for 10 years holding various different roles. Um, I first started within a security manager role within one of the business units and then um, subsequently reporting into the CISO um, at the corporate center. Um, ABF have been using Qualys since 2014, so it's well bedded into the environment, and we've got a really good working relationship with um, the team here as well. So I don't know if I can get a show of hands. Have anybody actually ever heard of Associated British Foods or ABF? I was anticipating that. So ABF is... Um, an extremely large organization, so it's a very highly diverse uh, business and it's very federated um, across the globe. So it's in 55 different countries and has over 70 brands. Some of those brands you may know of, so Twinings Tea, um, for instance, um, and they also have um, on their retail arm a uh, clothing business called Primark. So that's the, one of the largest clothing brands in the EU and we are expanding into the US now. Um, we've got some brands in the US, um, Mazola Oil and Fleischmann Yeast. Again, you might not necessarily know them, but they are certainly in a lot of products that you would probably have at home. Um, in regards to employees, so it's a, obviously a very big number, 132,000 employees. And as of this week, we've just confirmed that we've um, had um, an annual revenue of $25 um, billion. Obviously, having a, a large organization like ABF and it being highly federated, it comes with a lot of challenges when it comes to vulnerability management. Many of the separate individual business units originally implemented Qualys, but uh, did it in varying different ways. So um, it's then subsequently mean, meant that we've had a lot of organic development. So many of the BUs have built up dashboards. So um, over 300 dashboards, some of them, many of them unused and redundant. Um, but then we've also had um, over 12, the use of 1,200 tags. Again, many of them redundant and unused. So we get a very inaccurate picture and real-time understanding of what the risk is within the business unit, but then also as an overall risk as well. We've had some uh, multiple homegrown systems as well of reporting. Um, we referred to it as a beta version of True Risk. It wasn't very, it wasn't very good. Um, and it was very resource intensive to uh, look after as well. So it kept breaking and it didn't give us a very good picture. So we uh, approached Qualys at the beginning of the year for our renewal. Um, and we've uh, sub subsequently brought um, some additional modules this year. So we've brought the CSAM and um, patch management. So it's put a real focus on um, Qualys for us and we really wanted to improve it. And so we kind of came up with, but to do that, we wanted to see what success looked like. And so for that, we looked at, we wanted to standardize how we use the platform. So we obviously used the one, uh, the one Qualys agent um, and then we wanted to optimize how we get it to make sure we get our real return on investment from the different modules, especially with um, the new ones that we just put, uh, purchased. But we didn't want to take the autonomy away from the different business units that use it. Um, and we really wanted to get a better, much better clear picture, a true picture as to what the risk was within the business. So to do that, we came up with our uh, Qualys Enhancement Project. And we break it down into three different steps. So step one was developing um, the, some standards that we were going to ensure that the different business units and the different teams were abiding to um, in regards to a tagging structure to save that we don't have or, uh, over a thousand tags, um, but limiting them to a much more sensible number. And then all of the different business units were following the same standard. 
um, access control again. So we wanted to make sure that the business units had a level of autonomy, but we didn't then give them too much access. So we then end up in the same uh, position where we were um, a few months ago. Um, and with doing all of this, we wanted to make sure that we were getting the best out of Qualys. So we wanted to get Qualys's best practice, what was in the out of the box kind of solution um, to make sure that we were, we were going the right direction. Step two was then implementing it all. Um, so this is the, uh, the tougher part. So this is actually going through the whole platform, clearing down the old tagging structure and rebuilding it to the standard that we'd developed. Removing all the exclusions. So we had a lot of different business units that had uh, put a lot of exclusions in there. So actually it wasn't giving us a true risk. I think one business had potentially 35 different exclusion rules in there. So it wasn't giving us a true risk obviously updating the access, um, but we also found it a perfect opportunity to actually bring in true risk reporting and um, bringing that into the different business units. And then step three was the, the continuous improvement. So really looking at how we're using the platform, are we getting the best out of it, engaging with Qualys, making sure that we were doing all of the right things and it was working for us. And again, engaging with the different business units because they're the ones that use it, they're the ones that need to buy into it. And then through all of this, we've obviously had some really good, good um, outcomes. So these are some of the, the improvements that we've had. Um, so mean time to detection has obviously reduced to four hours. One of the biggest things for us was the mean time to um, remediation has reduced to one month, where I think it was three, three plus months before. And one of our biggest wins from bringing in um, the patch management module is that 60,000 client vulnerabilities were updated. This was a clone vulnerability, um, was patched. It says 48 hours, but it was, it was within 24 hours. That was our biggest win. And the vulnerabilities dropped by 54% in the whole of our environment. So that was a big win. And it, it helped us um, confirm with the business the reason that we, that we were doing all of the right things. Through all of this, we've now had a better understanding of the management of the, the risk within our environment. And it's given us a real focus on, on risk. And again, with that, that's a, with the true risk platform, we're getting that. So the next few slides are just recapping on, on the process that we've gone through. So again, replacing our legacy metrics with the Qualys true risk has given us the ability to get a, a, literally a true, a true uh, representation of the risk that's in with our environment. And to do that, we've had to go through and um, develop um, the consistency within our tags and having and building them to a standard that aligns to everything that we need. Clearing up of the, the hygiene of the users, again, so the businesses can operate how they want, but we've got that kind of centralized ability to manage how the platform's being used. Um, again, here we have to do some hygiene around how other parts of the platform are being used as well. So in the um, web application scanning again. And then here, setting up some clear dashboards for the different business units to access and view, and that's from a business unit level, but then also up to the, the, the top layer of the organization so we get a real clear picture as to what's what. Here is another slide just depicting our journey. So we're on a couple of, um, we've completed the majority of this. The big thing that we're looking at now um, moving forward is um, using CSAM, so implementing that. Now we've got a better understanding of our environment. That's our next target. And then, um, and then just embedding that continuous improvement like I mentioned earlier. And I was asked to put a, a quote together to end on. So. I do think that vulnerability management is a journey, but it, it's taking the benefits from it that I think is the most important thing to strengthen our environment and strengthen how we use our different tooling and all of that kind of thing. Thank you very much.